Here we go. New product time, Lady Ada. It's new. Yeah, well, is no, the new song there is. It's playing right now. Okay, yeah. new products. First one. I feel it though. Yeah, don't forget. Digitizer. Digitizer, sign up. This will be probably in our store this week, I think. Maybe. Um, sign up. That's the, the moment first. we have them, we will notify everybody yeah. on the list. So you want to be on that list if you want to get one. Yeah, okay. And next up is our new CC3000 with antenna. Check UFO it out. antenna. Yeah. yeah. So this is a modification of the uh, existing C uh, CC3000. We actually wanted to wait until we had enough people who ordered the um, plain type with the antenna. Since this is a little bit more advanced usage yeah. You want to go to the overhead? Let's go to the overhead. Okay. We have a spiffy okay. new overhead tonight. Yeah, which I'm still kind of uh, configuring. Okay. So this is your classic CC3000. If you see this little white thing here, that's the antenna. Wait. No, I'm covering it. This is the antenna that's on board, and this is what we normally sell. And over here, there's a pad for a antenna connector, which we didn't place. But um, we had it on the design so that in the future, we could... Um, make a version that does not have. Let's see, maybe I'll, nope. That does not have the antenna. Instead, it has the connector, and then you would use a antenna like this Wi-Fi antenna, and a UFL adapter, and then you. Um, it's actually kind of easy. You just snap the UFL connector. It's a standard connector, and it. Hold on. If you have it at the right angle. Yeah, it's also really small, but you snap it in, there you go, and then um, you have this connector, um, which you can then connect to an external antenna, and the reason you'd want to do that is, um, for example, it's in a box, or um, you want more range, because you can use a much bigger antenna, you want a directional antenna, you know, you can, you know, it, even though it's a, a passive antenna, you can use a pretty powerful custom antenna. However, trade-off is, it is no longer uh, automatically FCC certified. So if you use the original antenna, it uh, maintains the FCC certification that the, uh, for the emitter um, part of this board. Um, you still have to, if you're using a product, you still have to get FCC certification, but some part of it is already done for you. If you're using an antenna, that is a no-go, so you will have to redo that. So it's just something to be aware of. Okay. Uh, quick question about the CC3000. Can you... Um program it, or do you need a separate microcontroller? You must have a separate microcontroller. There is a microcomputer inside, but they don't have a compiler for it, so... Okay. There's space for code, but there's no way to compile code to it. Okay. Um, the CC3000 breakout um, is designed to be used with an Arduino, correct? Uh, this uh, can be used with any microcontroller at all that can do SPI, which is like every single microcontroller, okay. and has an interrupt pin. Uh, we have example code for Arduino, but there are people who have ported the code to PIC. Uh, we have Netduino. We know people have uh, been using it with the Netduino okay. uh, and other processors as well. So we provide code for Arduino because we can only support one thing at a time, but there's code for other platforms. Okay. Um, do you know what the range is with that antenna? I don't. But this, it, you know what? It's kind of like a, if you think of what a um, Wi-Fi um, Wi dongle has. So this has, um, using a small antenna, has about uh, twice the range of the onboard antenna. So instead of like, whatever, 100 feet, it's 200 feet or something. Yeah. Um, it does depend, of course, on you know, what's around and if there's any interference. But you will get better range with an external antenna okay. that's bigger. And what is the smart config thing that these modules support? Um, smart config is a way to set up the SSID and password using a smartphone or computer. So you don't have to type in the SSID. For a lot more details on that, you'll want to check out the TI website because they wrote it, and uh, I don't 100% understand how it works. It uses some sort of like way of detecting SCC3000 and configuring it. Um, it does work. I have example code for it. I just I use it with an iPad. That's all I did. So okay. theoretically, it works with Android. It probably also works with the computer. I just don't know for sure. Okay. Next up, they debut Trinket. It, be it, is, it is here. Here are some wonderful photos I'm going to show first. Look yeah. how tiny it is. It's a tiny breadboard, and there's a tiny thing. Here it is next to a quarter, super tiny. Um, I have a little video of a um, 
Oh of yeah, it, actually, can we? In? Yeah, let's let's um, let me describe what it is first. Yeah. This is um, the the board has um, the Tricket has an onboard bootloader that uses USB, and so you can uh, plug it into with a USB cable into a computer and then use um, a slightly modified version of the Arduino IDE. It's actually like not very big deal to modify. It's just a text yeah. file. Uh, you have to add some stuff to um, to program it over USB. And um, one of the things I did with the bootloader is I made it so that you can press the reset button to activate the bootloader, and it'll automatically detect this connect to a computer, and it will be ready for uploading for up to 10 seconds. So the video just shows the red LED pulsing, because I can't actually demo that, because I don't want to use your computer. OK, but, um, I'm going to show this. To show it. Okay, and here we okay. are to the overhead. All right, let me see if I can get this to be. Uh, All right, this is tilted. I have to straighten this out. Okay, hello, trinket. Okay, so here is um, a trinket. I have it on a breadboard just for scale, and there's a little reset button. That's the button I was pressing in that video. There's an AT Tiny eighty five, which is a little microcontroller, and it's uh, it's small, but it's not uh, not too bad. Got eight K of flash, half K RAM. There's a regulator here. Um, there's some headers on uh, both sides, so you can plug it into a breadboard, which I'll show. Uh, there's two little LEDs, little, little white dots here are two red and green LEDs, which you'll see. And then this is the mini USB slot. So this is where you plug in your USB cable. You can also connect up a battery um, externally for, uh, for um, power. You can use up to 16 volts. And it's got some mounting holes. So it's pretty simple, straightforward, and there's just some text on the back just to let you know. There's a 5-volt version and a 3-volt version. They're basically the same, except one has a 5-volt regulator, one has a 3-volt regulator. So choose whichever one you want. You want 5-volt logic, use a 5-volt. 3-volt yeah. logic, use a 3-volt. And one quick thing, we do have um, a 6-pack. So once these are all back in stock, if you want to get 3 and 3, you can do that. Yeah. But uh, I'll go back to the overhead. So you wanted to show something here? Yeah, so I can show. Um, this is my beta trinket that I designed, so it's a lighter blue, but it's otherwise the same. So you can see the green power LED, and then here's a, a red indicator LED, which is used for that bootloader. Um, it won't go into the bootloader right now because it's actually waiting for a computer, and it goes straight to the program. So you actually save time. You don't have to worry about like waiting for a bootloader if it's not connected to a computer. Let's see if I can get this to twist. Okay, so um, I've got it plugged into a breadboard using some header. And I'm just going to demo showing it um, powering an LED ring. So let me connect this up to. How many layers is that circuit board? It's Someone a, wants it's to It's a know. two layer board. Two layer board, okay. Okay. So here I just have it connected up to a NeoPixel ring, which is our kind of our, our, That's our very little nice. example. So it can drive up to like 150 NeoPixels. Although, if you want to do anything other than just dry pixels, it's like 100 or, or maybe even less, depending on how much RAM, because each pixel takes three bytes of RAM, so do the math. But it can drive a, a ring, no problem. In fact, we're going to probably have a project where it drives a, a ring for a goggle. And um, it can also drive um, a uh, much larger square. Just one second. Plug this okay. In. While you Live set that up, plugging. oh, so you did that very fast. There's only three wires, so this is now um, controlling an eight by eight matrix at sixty four pixels. So you know you can you can do stuff as long as you uh, keep it plugged in. Um, it's it's not a bad little processor. You actually have uh, quite a bit of capability in it, and um, let's set this up eventually. So it's, yeah. This is really Tonight we're trying out our the the picture quality for the overhead is better. We just have to find where we're gonna put the um, camera for this. Oh, you know what? It's slipping. That's why. Oh, it's, it's slipping. This thing is slipping. Yeah. Oh look, there's a secret product that was just. Okay. <laughs> oh man. This is. Uh, we'll figure this out eventually. Yeah, but sure. yeah, so there's. Um, it can. Uh, so it has three I/O pins that can do kind of like anything. 
two I.O. pins that are shared with a USB connection, so they are um, not available while bootloading, but you can still connect like buttons and stuff to them. Uh, it can run at 8 megahertz or 16 megahertz. Uh, 8 megahertz is default, but you can clock double to 16 using software, which is kind of neat that AT1085 has the ability to um, divide and uh, uh, multiply the clock, so mm -hmm. you can run at 16 or 8, which are like the kind of standard Arduino frequencies. So like any code that has like timing kind of freakiness, like, oh, you need to have like this particular timer, like for example, software serial works great. Yeah, okay. Um, I wanted to show a quick video. This is from Phil B. He made these cool glasses. Here they are, using a trinket. And since it's Vine, um, I'm going to let it play a couple Just times. Repeat. Yeah, because, you know, it's six seconds. All right. Okay. And we're back. Want me to go to the overhead to see how it's No, happening? yeah, I don't know. Oh. I'm right. still, I don't know. I gotta figure this thing out eventually. This is, this thing is in the way. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to figure, figure that out. out. Okay, so um, that is Trinket. Yeah. And that was the new products. Okay, I think we even sold that. We may have. We have, we have three more ones.